Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. We are actually going to make our way down to the Museum of Flight at BFI, Bravo Foxtrot India Airport, where the 737 test flights happen. I'm about to go downstairs. We are at the hotel right now. As you can see, very lovely. We are, well, I am going to go down to the lobby, catch an Uber, and I will see everybody at the museum of flight i've never been I, this is one of those museums i've been looking forward to we are in town for the hockey game so that's why i'm wearing that so this will be a combination of being shot on the phone and here on the gopro so hopefully everybody enjoys and i will throw in some b-roll and we'll see you there Looks like there's a DC-3 up there. That's crazy. There's a DC-3 hanging. These are the big uh, ram air cones. So these was what allowed the airplane to fly at insanely high mocks, like two and a half, three, sometimes three and a half. And that helped bypass the air through the engine because these were ramjets. Just a fun fact. And also, this girl was known to leak because of the skin. And this may not be an actual blackbird, but it leaked fuel on the ground. So when they took off, they actually had to connect to a tanker. Just a little interesting. And you see it's got the that delta wing shape. And the massive twin tails on the top. Here we go, the SR-71 Blackbird. We'll walk under, obviously it's on stilts. There's the main nose wheel right there. You can see the landing light, the wheel well doors. This is cool. We're walking, obviously again, it's up on stilts, but we're walking underneath of a Blackbird. The fastest airplane ever built Mach three and a half Mach four it's crazy and the specialized rear tires because the rubber at that at those altitudes would just disintegrate and here we have the engine we'll go around the front and see if we can See what kind of engine it is. And there you go, you can see inside of it. Mark 3.2, you can pause and read that. J58 Ramjet. Crazy.
So one, three, two left is 320 degrees. That's how that works. Alright, so that was the first part of the museum. We are now walking across this really cool sky bridge here and we're going to make our way over to where the 787 and all that are. Hopefully you can hear me over this music. Hopefully everyone's been enjoying it so far. It's really, really nice here. That's the big red original Boeing, Bill Boeing shed. There's a B-52 and whatnot over here. And then we'll go around to the other side. And I know, so where we're going, they have the B-52, the original 747, yes, MSN 001, and same with 787. I'm on a bunch of other cool stuff. So crossing the bridge now and I will keep adding the footage. Unfortunately, it looks like it's locked up, but here we go. We have a United 727. One of my favorite old school Boeing airliners. Yeah. Fortunately, it looks like it's locked up today, unfortunately, which is sad. Would have loved to have gone inside. And here we go, Boeing 747 MSN 001. The RA double zero, okay, RA 001, okay. Close enough, it's the original 747, and we're gonna go inside now. Let's go up the, well, yeah, we're gonna go inside and see what this beauty's all about. Beautiful bird. We'll get to go inside the 7 4 and the 7 8. So the two I was really excited to see. Let's make our way inside. Oh, so yes. If we, are, we all just drop our jaws. like, what the heck? Yeah. We don't have single point failures up here in yeah. yeah. so like, we, It was shocking to me to read about it.
and we are inside of Concord. Oh my gosh. Hi. Excuse me. Not a lot of headroom in here. <laughs> That's like the first thing I noticed. It's long. It's long, but man, could you? engines wore four of them two on either side fun fact this airplane had afterburner and it had reverse thrust BOAG Afterburners on my takeoff. New York to London in about two and a half to three hours. Even though that meant it set you back about two or three grand plus just for one way. She would race the sun and beat it. You would arrive before you departed. There you go, there's the proof. The Rolls Royce. Snap, snack, ma, Olympus 593. She is a very long airplane. And for reference, here's the nose wheel. Pretty much directly underneath a landing light up there. Big air, like long and fuselage was ninny and skinny and narrow and short, but a long airplane that could just rip through the sky. So back to the Concorde clip. This is what I was referring to. Your flight deck is there. Your nose wheel is way over here. So we can pass by the traffic leaving SeaTac just to our south and here we have the wonderful B29 Super Fortress I've seen Fifi in person I will edit, insert the picture here here we have it the original 787 dreamliner 787 bravo x-ray what a beauty we're about to go inside here we got the rolls royce engine that you can see all the way through wild
inside the dreamliner. Here we have a unit load device. So this, when you send, when you buy mail, it comes from overseas, or they fly within wherever your country is. This is what they loaded in right here. And these get loaded on, and here you can see the rollers on the floor, and that's how they put cargo on an airplane and you can see they're contoured to the shape of the airplane and same with the engines fun fact so that's pretty darn awesome and you can see the door up there hopefully you can hear me over the wind and the noise but that concludes today's video thank you all for watching hopefully you enjoyed and i'll see everybody in the next video and take care